Good morning and welcome, dear friends, to Sunday morning prayer. And it's good to welcome our dear Jane, who's not so good today. So we remember you this morning, my dear friend, and trust that all will be well and that those energy levels will go through the roof for you. So let us begin our Sunday morning prayer on a lovely morning, nice and mild, not too cold, ideal for getting into the garden today. So let's begin. We light this light this morning to hold each one of you before the I Am Presence of God. And we remember especially the person who left three crates of day-old chicks off the motorway in a nearby lay-by. Over a thousand little chicks. But thankfully the RSPCA came to the rescue and managed to save most of them and return them to the wholesaler who is the breeder. But we pray for mankind's cruelty to the animal kingdom. It really hurts my heart when I hear of cruelty to God's little creatures who are defenceless and who trust us to do the right thing. Amen. Our Sunday morning prologue of our brother and sister as scenes of Mount Sinai we read, we enter the eternal and infinite garden with reverence to the heavenly Father, Mother God, the earthly Mother and all the great Masters, and reverence to the holy, pure and saving teaching, and reverence to the brotherhood and sisterhood of the elect. Sunday morning we commune with the angel of earth, saying, Angel of earth, enter my generative organs and regenerate my whole body. As you say this, you contemplate the life-generating soil and the growing grass, feeling the currents of the angel of energy transforming his sexual energy into regenerative forces. And this morning, <clears throat> I'm going to recite the traditional divine office of Lords, which is said in every monastic community throughout the Christian world. And my bravery that I've had for over 40 years is becoming more like me every day, missing parts and falling apart. So we dedicate it for you. O oh God, come to my aid, O oh Lord, make haste and help me. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Come, ring out your joy to the Lord. Hail the God who saves us. And our morning hymn, Transcendent God in whom we live, the resurrection and the light, we sing for you a morning hymn to end the silence of the night. When early cock begins to crow and everything from sleep awakes, new life and hope spring up again while out of darkness color breaks. Creator of all things that are, the measure and the end of all. Forgiving God, forget our sin and hear our prayer before we call. Praise Father, Mother, Son and Holy Spirit, bless Trinity and Source of Grace, who call us out of nothingness to find in you our resting place. And the first antiphon of morning prayer the Lord is wonderful on high. Alleluia. And now we read the traditional psalm, Psalm 92. The Lord is king with majesty enrobed. The Lord has robed himself with might. He has girded himself with power. The world you made firm not to be moved. Your throne has stood firm from of old. From all eternity, O Lord, you are. The waters have lifted up, O Lord, the waters have lifted up their voice. The waters have lifted up their thunder. 
greater than the roar of mighty waters, more glorious than the surgings of the sea. The Lord is glorious on high. Truly your decrees are to be trusted. Holiness is fitting to your house, O Lord, until the end of time. We now pray the Gloria. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord is wonderful on high. Alleluia. The second antiphon. Amen. May you be praised, Lord, and extolled forever. Alleluia. And now we have a canticle reading from the prophet Daniel. O oh, all you works of the Lord, O oh, praise the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. And you angels of the Lord, O oh, bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. And you the heavens of the Lord, O oh, bless the Lord. And you clouds of the sky, O oh, bless the Lord. And you all, excuse me, and all you armies of the Lord, O oh, bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. And you sun and moon, O oh, bless the Lord. And you the stars of the heavens, O oh, bless the Lord. And you showers and rain, O oh, bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. And you all you breezes and winds, O oh, bless the Lord. And you fire and heat, O oh, bless the Lord. And you cold and heat, O oh, bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. And you night time and day, O oh, bless the Lord. And you darkness and light, O oh, bless the Lord. And you lightning and clouds, bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. O oh, let the earth bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. And you mountains and hills, O oh, bless the Lord. And you all plants of the earth, O oh, bless the Lord. And you fountains and springs, O oh, bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. And you rivers and seas, O oh, bless the Lord. And you creatures of the sea, O oh, bless the Lord. And you every bird in the sky, O oh, bless the Lord. And you wild beasts and tame, O oh, bless the Lord, to him be highest glory and praise forever. And you children of men, O oh, bless the Lord, to him be highest glory and praise forever. O oh, Israel, bless the Lord, O oh, bless the Lord. And you priests of the Lord, O oh, bless the Lord. And you servants of the Lord, O oh, bless the Lord, to him be highest glory and praise forever. And you spirits and souls of the just, O oh, bless the Lord. And you holy and humble of heart, O oh, bless the Lord. Ananias, Azaris, Misael, O oh, bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. Let us praise the Father, Mother, God, with the Son and Holy Spirit. To you be glory and praise forever. May you be blessed, O Lord, in the heavens. To you be highest glory and praise forever. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. May you be praised, Lord, and extolled forever. Alleluia. And the third antiphon, praise the Lord from the heavens. Alleluia. And now we read Psalm 148. Praise the Lord from the heavens, praise him in the heights. Praise him, all his angels, praise him, all his hosts. Praise him, sun and moon, praise him, shining stars. Praise him, highest heavens, and the waters above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord. He commanded they were made. He fixed them forever gave a law which shall not pass away. Praise the Lord from the earth. 
Sea creatures in all oceans, fire and hail, snow and mist, stormy winds that obey his word. All mountains and hills, all fruit trees and cedars, beasts wild and tame, reptiles and birds on the wing, all earth's kings and peoples, earth's princes and rulers, young men and maidens, old men together with children. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for he alone is exalted. Excuse me. The splendor of his name reaches beyond heaven and earth. He exalts the strength of his people. He is the praise of all the saints, of the sons of Israel, of the people to whom he comes close. And now we pray the Gloria. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Alleluia. And we have a short scripture reading, and it's from the prophet Ezekiel, chapter 37, verses 12b to 14. The Lord God says this, I am now going to open your graves. I mean to raise you from your graves, my people, and lead you back to the soil of Israel. And you will know that I am the Lord when I open your graves and raise you from your graves, my people. And I shall put my spirit within you, and you will know that I am the Lord have said and done this. It is the Lord God who speaks. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And the short response to it, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Have mercy on us. You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, Mother God. You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Have mercy on us. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God. You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Have mercy on us. And now for our Benedictus Antiphon for week seven of the church's year. The paralytic took up his bed on which he was lying and gave praise to God. When the people saw this, they also praised God. And now, my dear brothers and sisters, I'd like to invite you to join me for the beautiful canticle of Zechariah, the Benedictus. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and he has redeemed them. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour in the house of David his servant, as he promised through his prophets from of old, a Saviour who would free us from our sin, from the hands of all our enemies, so his love for our fathers is revealed and his holy covenant remembered. He swore to Abraham our father to grant us that free from fear and saved from the hands of our enemies, we might serve him in holiness and justice all the days of our life in his presence and as for you little child you shall be called a prophet of god the most high you shall go before the lord to prepare his ways before him to make known to his people their salvation through forgiveness of their sin and the loving kindness of the heart of our god who visits us like the dawn from on high, and he will give light to those who sit in darkness, and those who dwell in the shadow of death. Let us pray the Gloria. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And we repeat the Benedictus Antiphon. The paralytic 
took up the bed on which he was lying and gave praise to God. When the people saw this, they also praised God. And now we come to our morning intercessions. We pray to our Father, Mother God, who sent their Holy Spirit to bring new life to the hearts of us all. And the response, Lord, send us the light of your Spirit this morning. Lord, send us the light of your Spirit this morning. Blessed are you, the source of all light. All creation rightly gives you praise. Response, Lord, send us your, send us the light of your Spirit this morning. Through the resurrection of your Son, the world is filled with light. Through the gift of your Spirit, may your light shine out in the Christian Church and in all faiths. Response, Lord, send us the light of your Spirit this morning. Through your Holy Spirit, the disciples remembered all that Jesus taught them. Pour out your Spirit on our Holy Father, Pope Francis, His Holiness the Dalai Lama and Thich Nhat Hanh, and upon our Maj Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth, our reigning monarch and head of the Church of England, and upon all the men and women who've dedicated their lives to God in our community of interfaith Franciscans. Excuse me. Response, Lord, send us the light of your spirit this morning. Light of all the nations, look upon those who live in darkness. Open their hearts to accept you as the one true God. Response, Lord, send us the light of your spirit this morning. And now, let us be still. Let us be still, for we are in the presence of God the God of many names, a God of love. This morning, <clears throat> we dedicated our morning prayer to each one of you here, and especially for all God's little creatures that are defenseless, and for the personal persons who discarded over a thousand day old chicks by the motorway for whatever reason was in their heart god only knows but we pray for all those who are cruel to the animal kingdom we pray for the hooray henry's that come from london to our local dalham estate where they shoot for pleasure and fun the thousands of little pheasants and it's awful to hear the incessant shootings from these young yuppies who pay over a thousand pounds per shoot to come and kill God's little creatures. Father, Mother God, forgive them. Forgive them for what they do to your defenseless creatures. And for those who operate puppy farms and who have no respect for the little female dogs and who just breed from them as if they were rabbits leaving the little mother discarded. Lord Jesus, where have we gone wrong to be so cruel to your defenseless little ones? We pray today for our brother Eric, that he recoups his strength following all the many prayers that he has been offering with the worry and anxiety for his dear sister Eva, who did have a successful heart operation last Thursday. We pray for our dear sister Jane, who's with us this morning. We pray that the healing touch of God will boost her energy levels today and keep them at a maximum level for Jane to work and operate as a child of God. For brother Liam and his amazing work with the homeless in London. For Brian, our Franciscan trucker, whom the Lord is really touching in a profound way to do the good things he does for the homeless as he dri drives his huge truck from one end of America to the other. For dear brother Matthew and his mom, Kathy, who's dying in the hospice in, in Texas. 
We pray that Kathy, his mom, has a peaceful, a peaceful, pain-free, dignified death. And we pray for Matthew's family. We pray for dear sister Nancy in Mexico and her beloved son Mark, who's got lots of issues. We remember dear sister Jackie in Idaho. And we pray for her sons and daughters and her elderly mom at 91, who's still driving. <clears throat> Excuse me. We pray for dear Miriam in New Zealand, for Eleanor and Elizabeth in Philadelphia. We remember dear brother Rob, who's not been very well with this virus that returns from time to time and leaves him quite debilitated with no energy for usually 48, 36 hours to 48 hours. So we pray for our dear brother today and for all the members of our community who've come and gone. But we pray today, especially as I've said for you, for your intentions, together with all our friends, those who support us, who raise us up when we're being tested and challenged. We remember our many friends on social media and we give thanks to God for their love and their support. And now, let us just be still and allow the healing touch of Christ, the physician of our soul. Let us ask him now to touch us. I know I need it because I got lost in the garden yesterday when we were relocating the dovecot to the back of the garden, the monastery garden, and doing a bit of digging and pruning. I just lost myself and I was totally at peace. But today it's payback. So I want to praise God and thank God for my two legs and my two hands and for the love of Brother Paul and Brother Rob who are really there for me in managing my own disability. So I want to thank God for them and for little Poppy, our little Cavi. Be still. <laughs> And now, my dear friends, I get so carried away listening to the chant. It brings back so many lovely memories for me over many years singing the Divine Office in the Gregorian chant. I mellow, I'm, I just fall into the arms of God when I hear the chant. Let us pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, Mother God, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our many feeble, our feeble nature, our foibles, our indiscretions, for the times when we failed in impatience, where we lacked trust in you, for the times when we failed in charity, in thought, word, and deed. Forgive us, dear Lord, for we are human, but our hearts are open to your love. So lead us not astray today, but protect us from those negative forces that seek to alienate us from your love. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever, amen. Oh, and I forgot to pray for dear mother Olivia, who's been rather poorly the last few days with bronchitis but feeling is stronger this morning. So we send love, light and blessing to dear Olivia and Freya. And I'm sure I forgot somebody else, but whoever they are, may the Lord touch them. Let us pray. And our closing prayer on this seventh Sunday of the church's year reads, Grant, Almighty God, that with our thoughts always on the things of the Spirit, we make our prayer, sorry, 
we may please you in all that we say and do. We make our prayer through our Lord Jesus the Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. And that brings us to the end of Sunday morning prayer. And now for the closing Celtic blessing. The blessing of heaven, the blessing of earth, the blessing of sea and sky on those we love this day and on every human family, the gift of heaven, the gift of earth, the gift of sea and sky, the gifts of brother sun and sister moon and the animal kingdom be in your heart now and forevermore. Amen. Go in peace to love and to serve our God, your God, the God of many names. Namaste, shalom, inshallah, paxet bonum, om shanti, solo di carita, salam alaikum, and may the peace of all that is sacred to you reawaken in your heart that you are a child of God, that you are a co-creator of the divine, and that your life matters and that you are loved. I wish you a restful sleep if it's your bedtime, but if it's your new day, then have a wonderful day today. And remember your mantra, I am the, a child of the divine. I am a child of the divine. So take care until we meet again. God bless you. And take care, dear Jane, and I pray for you today that you will be a lot stronger and that the energy will woof right through your aching body because we love you. Thank you.